my primary friends. Today we are going to sing about Easter because today, well Sunday, is Easter. And I remember when I was a little kid, my family always had Easter baskets with Easter eggs inside and it was so fun. But really, Easter is all about Jesus. It's not all about the candy and the baskets. So we are going to sing a song all about Jesus Christ and how he was resurrected. He came back to life. And that is what Easter is all about. So first, I'd like to read you a story that was in the April Friend. Okay, so here we go. After Jesus Christ had died, his body was laid in a tomb. So it's like kind of like a cave and they put a big rock over the door to the cave so that nobody could get in and do anything. On Sunday, some women came to take care of Jesus's body. But when they came, they came down the path, they saw that that big stone in place of the door was gone and the tomb was empty. Jesus wasn't there. But they saw two angels and the angel said, don't be sad. Jesus isn't here anymore because he has risen again. He is alive again. And that was the first, very first Easter. Jesus showed himself to his followers. He first showed himself to a woman named Mary. And he said, I'm alive again. Don't be sad. I am alive again. I was resurrected. And he ate with them and talked with them and taught them some more things before returning to Heavenly Father. Now, I know that Jesus saved us from death too. When we die, our bodies and our spirit will come back together and we'll be resurrected, just like Jesus. And because he did this for us, we get this gift too. And we can return to Heavenly Father too. And Jesus loves us and we love him. And the ways that we show that we love him is by helping other people and being kind to others and doing as he taught us to do. And I know a lot of you are kind and helpful at home. So let's sing this song about Easter. We'll sing it through and I'll put a, a clip of a video of this song in here too so you can understand what the song is about. So it's called Easter Hosanna. But before we start singing, I want to show you a few things that are in the songbook. And this is pretty much for every song in our children's songbook. So here's our songbook. I'm sitting here at my piano. And here's our song that we're singing called Easter Hosanna. And there's a picture there. So with each song, there's a picture. And those pictures can give us some clues about what's going on in the song. Just like in a lot of books, if there's pictures, they, you can look at those pictures and think, hmm, I wonder what this is going to be about. I think there's some clues here. So this is a picture of children pointing up and there's a light there. So that's Jesus that they're showing as that light. And these children are pointing up and saying, look, look, it's Jesus. So this song is actually about how Jesus came to the Nephites. He appeared to them and they shouted Hosanna because they were so excited to see him and so happy to see him. Another thing that we can notice about this song, let's see if we can get close enough, that it tells us right here how to sing it. It says, thoughtfully. So we'll sing it thinking, hmm, I wonder what it would have been like if I was there 
I am a child and I was looking up and I saw Jesus Christ coming to visit us. How incredible and meaningful and just amazing that would have been. Another thing I want to show you on this page, and it's on pretty much every song, not all of them, but almost all of them, there's a scripture there. So this song is inspired by some scriptures in the Book of Mormon. And that says 3 Nephi 11, verses 8 through 17. So that tells us where we can look in the scriptures to understand the story behind the song. So if we look in our scriptures and we look at 3 Nephi, chapter 11, verse 17. This is after Jesus has come down from the sky and everybody is just, um, just like, what? This is so awesome. He's here. He's finally here. We've been hearing for hundreds of years, thousands of years, that Jesus Christ was going to come and visit us. And wow, here he is. So um, in verse 17, it says, this is what everybody was saying when they saw Jesus coming down. They said, Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Most High God. And they did fall down at the feet of Jesus and did worship him. So they said, Hosanna, which is one of the words in the song. Blessed be the name of the Most High God. And Hosanna is a, an expression of excitement. So... This song is about Jesus coming to the Nephites and showing them his body and saying, look, it's me. Here's a picture of when that happened. Whoa. And he said, come and feel the prints in my hands and you will see that you can feel some nail prints and you will know that it's really me. And Jesus Christ taught them a ton of stuff. He was only with them for a couple of days, but he taught them all of the teachings that he taught in the Bible. And he taught them the sacrament, and he taught them about baptism. He taught them a whole bunch of stuff. And he even blessed all of the children, one by one. Each of the children got a special blessing from Jesus. Wouldn't that be cool? I think so. Well, let's sing this song. If you have a songbook, it's on page 68. And we'll see if I can sing this for you. <laughs> so it's Easter Hosanna. And again, it's from 3 Nephi 11, verses 8 through 17. And if you want to read that after you sing this song, you will see that, wow, this, is, this song is about those verses. So... Here we go. <clears throat> oh, I'll move my story about Easter. I've got it all over my piano keys. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me. that means that the prophecies came to pass or happen. 
there's a word in here that we don't usually use in our day-to-day -day language, but it means that it came to pass or it happened. Okay, so the prophecies that all those prophets had written about in the scriptures, they said, Jesus Christ is coming and he's the savior and he will help us to be able to repent and to start over and over and over again every time that we need to. So that prophecy came to pass. We're going to look for a word that means the prophecy came to pass. Get that in your mind. Here we go. It's in the first few lines, so I'm going to just sing that. prophecies came to pass. Aha. So there's a vocabulary word for today. As I sing the next phrase, see if the melody is the same or different. And then you can sing it with me using the chorus. So we're going to sing the prophecies of long ago were now at last fulfilled. And then I'm going to sing the next line too. From the beginning. were fulfilled they came to pass everything that those prophets in the Book of Mormon had written about there's the Savior coming fulfilled when Jesus came to see the Nephites when Jesus risen from the dead to man himself revealed that was the second phrase of our song and we know that risen from the dead that's resurrection okay now we're going to look or listen for two words that describe how Jesus looked when he came to them, when he appeared to the Nephites. Let's see if you can hear it. As he came down from heaven above, white robed and glorified. Did you hear it? What did he look like when he came? It was in the song. Let me sing that again. As he came down from heaven above, white robed and glorified. Did you hear it? When he came down, he was white robed and glorified. So that's why in that picture that I showed you from this song, there's a light at the top of the picture that they're pointing at. He was in a white robe and he was glorified, so shining. He looked heavenly because he had just come, you know, being resurrected. Okay. And something else is going on in the song that helps us to kind of picture this whole scene. So as he came down from heaven above, white robed and glorified, listen to what the melody is doing. Hmm, let's sing it again. As he came down from heaven above, white robed and glorified. The music's going down. Because Jesus Christ was coming down at that moment. Aha! So it's pretty awesome song because it's helping us to picture everything going on in this moment. All right, so that was the first verse. Now I want to talk about the chorus. What words did the Nephites say as they saw him coming or as he came? Okay.
blessed be the name of the Most High God. All right. So when we sing about the promised land in this song, that's actually just another word for the American continent. So that's all that means. Verse 2. Uh, oh, I already gave you the answer. <laughs> the promised land is the American continent. So I'm going to sing that verse 2. Jesus Christ the continent because remember when uh, Lehi and his family came and then they were Nephi was told to build a boat and they would take them to the promised land so that's what that was talking about okay what did the righteous people see let's listen for that saw his his wings his alleys on his hand let's sing that again the righteous people saw his wounds and came to understand okay they saw his wounds on his hands and they came to understand something what was it that they came to understand let's Listen to more of the song to hear what that is. They saw his wounds. They came to understand that he once dead was risen all as Savior, Lord, and King. They came to understand that he once dead was risen up as Savior, Lord, and King. So risen up means he was resurrected. His body and his spirit came back together and he was alive again. So let's sing that line again. And he once dead was risen all as Savior, Lord, and King. All right. So there were three names for the for Jesus Christ that we sing in that line. Can you remember what they are? Let me sing them again and you can see what they are. Okay, so. That he once dead was risen up as Savior, Lord, and King. So three names, Savior, Lord, So the Nephites rejoiced, and he's thinking about somebody else rejoicing too. So let's see if we can hear that in the next line. As time. We rejoice. We rejoice too because we get to be resurrected too. And even though we live a long time after the Book of Mormon and a long time after this happened, we know that we will be resurrected too. All right, so I hopefully you can't hear my husband using lawn tools out in the front yard. That's such a great time. So, alrighty. Sorry, my computer just went to sleep. Let's sing it from the top. Again, we're on page 68. Hopefully you're singing with me and not just sitting there and um, laughing at me. So, here we go. <clears throat>
Let's sing the second verse. I want to show you is something that you're probably very familiar with. If you take some an empty plastic Easter egg, um, you can fill it with rice or beans, tape it closed, try not to break it, tape it closed, and then you can use it as a shaker. But first I want to talk to you about the symbolism, what the Easter egg actually means. So the Easter egg symbolizes the empty tomb, which we just talked about in the song that we were singing, the Easter Hosanna song. So it's empty, just like the empty tomb was. Eggs are also symbolic of new life, of new beginnings. So what we can do with our eggs once we've eaten the candy inside of them is we can fill them with, we're gonna fill it with rice. So I'm gonna show you. You want to have maybe somebody help you to hold it still. I'm going to use a little spoon. I'm going to scoop out some of my rice and I'm going to pour it in there. It doesn't take a ton. Maybe like, I don't know, just for myself. I'm going to spill it up. I'm going to close it up very carefully. Mine are kind of cheap eggs, so they're breaking. But they're quite old. So I'm going to close it up very carefully. Then to make sure that it stays closed, I'm going to put some tape around it. Let me try to get some tape out. So I'm going to put my tape right around that closing part. That way it won't fall open when I'm trying to play it like an instrument, like a maraca. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I have another one here. So again, it's like the empty tomb when Jesus Christ was resurrected, and it's also like new life, a new beginning. I'm gonna take my spoon, I'm gonna make sure that I'm holding it very still, or I'm gonna have a helper to keep it very still, and I'm gonna just put that rice in one side, maybe two teaspoons, that might be a little too much. I'm gonna close it very carefully. Then I'm gonna get my piece of tape, Hopefully, I'm kind of a spaz with tape, so hope it, just a second. Um, and then I'm gonna tape around where those two sides meet. Now, if you were in nursery with me, we would sing a song with these eggs. So I'm gonna sing it with you now. You can sing, do as I'm doing with this. Okay, so we started out, shake it up high, shake it down low, shake it fast. Shake it crazy and shake it slow. Let's sing do as I'm doing. Do as I'm doing. Follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing. Follow, follow me. I can do it high or low. I can do it fast or slow. Do as I'm doing. Follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing. Follow, follow me. Shake it up high. Shake it down low. Shake it fast. Shake it crazy. And shake it 
So, very good. So that's something you can do with those Easter eggs. So we're going to sing a song now about helping out because I know right now everybody's home and you might be kind of getting tired of being at home, but as family, it's wonderful to spend time together, especially if we can help each other out. So this song is about helping out your mom or your dad or your grandma or whoever you may live with. And let's, I'll sing it to you. You might be familiar with it. I don't know, but we'll give it a go. So it's on page 198 and it's called When We're Helping. This one doesn't have a picture to go with the song. I'll show it to you. It's very short. It's down here and it doesn't have any scriptures to go with it, but it does say to sing it happily. So be happy as we sing it. Here we go. may be amazing but I don't really like to clean so I love it when I get helpers helping me out to clean the house and I know your mommies and your daddies brothers and sisters do too so let's talk about this song what does the song say why do we like to help mother hmm let's listen in the song do in this song what does it say what do we do when we're helping mother do we say oh, i gotta clean my room when we have to listen to what the song says when we're helping it again. Did you hear it? When we're helping, we're happy. And what else do we do? We sing as we go. That's pretty awesome. Okay, now let's sing it all the way through. And the second verse is super way easy. I'll sing it for you and you can tell me what the words are to the second verse. Here we go. I'm singing the second verse. Listen, listen really hard. because These words are kind of difficult. Here we go. <clears throat> Try that you can figure that one out. But what's fun to do on the second verse is to do actions that show ways that you can help out at home. Maybe you're setting the table. Maybe you're doing the dishes. Maybe you're vacuuming. That's fun because it makes a loud noise and sometimes you can feel like you're super powerful. You're sucking things up into this machine. Yeah, except don't vacuum up things that you're not supposed to vacuum and maybe maybe you even know how to help cook dinner I would love that I would like to adopt you if you're cooking dinner at your house so let's sing it we'll sing the first verse about how we're happy and we're singing a song as we're helping out and we're helping mom because we love her so and if you want to put in dad there Go for it. Here we go. 
My scriptures, I went to Mosiah 4.15, and I remember Mosiah from our Book of Mormon song. Uh, 4.15, it says, but you will teach them to walk in truth, in the ways of truth and soberness. You will teach them to love one another and to serve one another. It says to teach them. And also, there's a Bible verse that is Psalms 82.6. I have said, you are children of the Most High. So that means we are children of Heavenly Father. So let's sing this song and we'll end our singing time with this.